Ask anyone who's shopped for a car recently, they're going to tell you it hasn't been easy. But prices for used vehicles are finally falling, and that's some good news if you're looking to buy and potentially a ticking clock if you're weighing a trade-in. Christian Benavidez has our story. Jody Vining came to this Delray Beach car dealership looking for the best trade in value for his pickup truck. I was actually trying to stay sort of ahead of the wave and try to get like the most I can get for the trade before, you know, before the bottom falls out. While that bottom is still far off, prices for used vehicles are finally starting to decline, down almost half a percent from July to August. What people want to feel is they're not overpaying for something. That's a necessity. Teddy Moore is the CEO of the Ed Moore's Automotive Group. He says he expects used car prices will continue to drop, and that's good for the dealership and the customer. When we can buy the vehicles cheaper, that means the customer is going to be able to purchase them cheaper. Inventory is sticking around longer, too, as rising interest rates cost some consumers to pump the brakes. At the height, as soon as we would get a vehicle coming in, you would have three or four people waiting to look at that vehicle to buy it. And the cars wouldn't sit here more than a couple days at most. We're seeing that start to take a little bit longer. Even as used car prices are just starting to pull back, the same is not true for new cars. Data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics show new vehicle prices were up 10.1% in August over last year. On the new car side, there is still a supply chain issue related to the availability of semiconductors. Experts expect higher interest rates could drive down new car prices eventually. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Delray Beach, Florida. Although prices have fallen, the experts are warning consumers that inflation is still continuing to rise. Mortgage rates have reached their highest level since 2008. Today, Freddie Mac reported the 30-year fixed rate mortgage now averages around 6.02%. That's up 5.89% this week compared to last. It's also more than twice the rate from a year ago. Freddie Mac's chief economist says the higher rate will help cool off the housing market slightly, although the number of homes for sale still won't meet demand. Consumer spending increased a bit in August, even as prices on goods and services continued to surge. Retail sales in the U.S. rose an unexpected 0.3% last month, after July saw a drop of 0.4%. The Commerce Department reports that Americans have shifted in how they spend their money, with more going toward necessities like food and away from furniture, electronics, new clothes, and other non-necessities. Grocery store sales increased 0.5%, helped by rising food prices, and businesses at restaurants rose 1.1 percent. Clothing stores saw a 0.4 percent increase, while online sales fell 0.7 percent, and furniture stores fell 1.3 percent. How many steps did you get in today? Up next on Valley News Live at 5, why picking up the pace could really make a difference.